All right, good evening, everybody. System Chalk here with, I believe, the 54th episode of the Priest Legacy DLC for Cultist Simulator. Um, so there's a few things on my plate. Um, I am going to be making at least an exploratory effort on um, a uh, on a service with Knocklore, but um, I didn't really prepare properly for it. So there's a few things that we need to get. We need to get a uh, we need to get a fervor. We need to eventually get a restlessness. And unfortunately, I decided to go for the restlessness before the fervor, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, but we'll persevere. And uh, we also have a couple of things that are threatening us. So we've got a dread, uh, the fleeting reminiscence. So what's probably going to happen here is the fleeting reminiscence is going to get absorbed by the trembling in the air, which is not my ideal. Oh, hang on. Um, new colors. So sorry, actually, this fascination might be breeding. So in this case, having the two may be helpful, which in either case, um, having the dream slot <clears throat> available uh, is also helpful. So I'm going to leave that aside, and what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, we'll let time pass. So there's a, basically, there's a bunch of stuff that's about to expire, and I don't have a lot of really good plans for how to work with all of it. Um, but let's just kind of take it. At this point, while I don't necessarily like being very reactive in Cultist Simulator, in this case, it's actually probably just not a bad idea for me to work with what the game throws at me. And we can we can make some more clear decisions uh, once things have sort of uh, leveled out. So the only thing is there are a couple of consumables that I may be losing just based on my inability to make good decisions. All right, I'm seeing things. I shouldn't. I uh, know this is dangerous, but it's difficult not to long for it. So we've got 7.6 seconds. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to... So I don't want to have this on the table in 24 seconds, but I do want to see what I get from this book. Nothing. My words cease like sand in a glass. So I got to be careful with my percussigant, but I do also want to preserve the subtle fracture. So uh, I'm going to talk with the Caligine because we will probably want to get rid of evidence with it. Considering the evidence, if a hunter has found notoriety, they will try to use it to create or upgrade evidence. If they're meticulous, they'll always succeed. If they're erratic, they're more likely to fail. But they can occasionally create evidence even without notoriety. All right, so there's another funds for me. Now, one thing I could try and do is just immediately go to the Tombs of the Shadowless Kings, bring the Percussigant along, and just try and get the rest of my, my crew to, to help out. Um, <clears throat> that is making something of an assumption in terms of my ability to generate cash, which is maybe not the best. Um, oh, it's tempting. Um, I'm not going to do it, though. I think I will use the Vagabond's map. So, the Vagabond is the one hour who can never enter the Mansus, but she goes everywhere else. And, if you believe her boast, she's the only one who knows all the histories. Sometimes, she lets someone record her travels. The river, wrote the sage mech in the Book of the Centipede, runs through the sands out of myth and into legend. This is the place the Centipede was born, they say. The sands of which mech wrote hide perilous curiosities. All right, the text describes how the Great Hooded Princes escaped, or will escape, from the Fifth History, where they had died, or were doomed to die. They engaged in a secret conquest of the land of the Great River, called India, in some histories, and have ensured that all other conquests of that land are false conquests. So, um, the reason why I wanted to see the outcome as far as the, uh, as far as the book is concerned is I don't want to have fascination on the table, but I do want to try and use dread to get rid of, uh, the, the negative effects. Now, I probably have a way of dealing with dread anyway, but this is just a nice way that I can more, um, you know, I can more economically get rid of some of the, some of the more, um, some of the more nasty side effects of my activities. So we'll also read the second glory. There's the danger that we have a season of despair coming up, but we know uh, I, I have some ideas in terms of how I can sort of get most of the most of the things that I need to deal with under control. So the priest Jesus, who ex celebrates the extirpation of the gods who were stoned, those hours who preceded humanity. Jusa engages in an apologia for the destruction of these hours. Uh, of the hours, they were old, they were cowardly, they were vile. Their time had passed, and it was the shining destiny of humankind to seize the house through glorious battle. Better focus. All that I am is here.
finished. I created something both distinctive and beautiful. It will very likely enhance my reputation. Okay, great. We got the restlessness. My recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. It does also look like I got a fascination out of that, which was dangerous. Um, but again, something I can handle. So contentment if we have to deal with dread. We basically just made the money back, so that's not great given that we are sort of looking to acquire funds, but I've got other ways of dealing with this. Now, right now I've kind of got a free fascination floating around. Um, that's maybe not so good, but I have, um, I can, I can sort of afford to go without. What I'm most interested in right now is trying to generate that fervor. So I am, uh, I do have a a percussant that is expiring. I am probably going to want to do some kind of a ritual with that as well, but I, I am actually most interested in pursuing the work right now. So we will take my passion, improvise a sermon on a secret doctrine. I will speak to their souls, and if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. And we're preparing for the possibility of evidence. We do have another season of suspicion coming up, so it is rather important that I get rid of that evidence if it emerges. Okay. Uh, but I am going to hold back with uh, 26 seconds just to try and extend the life of the subtle fracture. Six knock is not going to make the, a world of difference, but it's uh, it's still something I would like to to try and preserve for as long as I can. Of course, the risk of doing it this way is I do tend to get distracted, so I uh, may may or may not be fast enough. Okay. Now, if we get damning evidence, it's not the end of the world, um, but we, uh, you know, it, it'd be nice if we don't need to worry about that. This place merits closer investigation. Star Shattered Fane. Here was a place sacred to the gods of Earth until a meteor fell on a winter's night. In time, worshippers crept back into the broken ruins. In time, the meteorite itself came to be worshipped as a bringer of dreams. The old altar may yet remain somewhere beneath the meteorite's lair. So, um, perhaps counterintuitively, I'm actually going to use the percussigan here. This is mostly just to preserve it for a little bit longer while I, I deal with other things. Okay, so good luck here with the dread. Uh, Jusik recounts how the hour called the Seven Coils was slain in battle by the Colonel, how the Grail devoured the hour called Tide, and how the egg unhatching fled like a coward. He's quite vituperative about the egg unhatching. He warns darkly against its return. So, right of the Beast's division, we already had that, but... And sorry, I probably should have mentioned Dedication of the Lost Hours as well. So there's a couple things that I could try and do here. I could try and uh, take the Dread and Contentment together, and then uh, the Fascination and the um, the Fleeting Reminiscence. It, to my mind, it's better to just cancel out the two negative ones, because I actually will have some use for the influences uh, through other means, potentially. So The doors of vision swing wide, a little darkness will mellow my light. Even Dread has its uses. Okay, my minion has returned. The evidence has been destroyed. I am a little safer. Good news overall, it looks like. Um, let's talk with the Caligeen again. This is mostly just preserving the subtle rupture. It's a little silly for me to do, but I have my reasons. An overlooked place. We found somewhere unusual. Great news here. Okay, so we are going to be making a go for for the lock, lock scar. Uh, the glory demands truth when we are clad in lies, then it shall burn them from us. The deeper the lore, the greater the chance of exaltation. So, um, we can get by. So, if I do appointment to a quiet parish, health, knock, fervor. To be a threshold, my people stand before me, voices raised in song, faces upraised aflame. There are doors that few ever see, fewer yet ever open. If I am willing to suffer the consequences, I might someday become one of those doors for my congregation to pass. Knock, and ye shall be opened. So we've got a minute for restlessness. We know that's coming up. I'm going to explore with the percussant again. This is, again, sort of wasting the explore verb, but it's a chance for me to preserve it. I should be using my study verb. How the end will begin, a book of bleak prophecy. Um... Do we have a season? Okay, so I want to mind my manners as far as the, as far as dread is concerned. So maybe we avoid 
I think we can do the dream of the conspiracy of lower skies, though. The disgraced oracle, uh, Damon Asnaton, sifts through the tall tales of Penelope of Gordian, the work of the court poet Cal, and the forbidden fragments of the work of the adept Aratrez, identifying common themes. Actually, before I do that, a little fresh air and exercise. I don't think it'll hurt to have a vitality kicking around. A hireling. Uh, I don't really have the money for this right now, so... Wow, they really, really went straight for my, uh, my notoriety there. Okay, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds and we've got... <clears throat> Got the next phase. So we'll not hire the hire. We could use it to, you know, go through the spider's door, but then the question is, what is that really getting me? Nothing. My words cease like sand in a glass. So Caligine again, just because we want to get rid of the... Um, we want to get rid of the evidence when the time comes. Okay, so exaltation. Sometimes my words and those I have borrowed move my congregation beyond mere concentration to exaltation. I begin my vigil. My mouth is open. My eyes are open. Through them, as the congregation sorry, uh, through them as the congregation raises the hymn, Saint Agnes enters like a questing hand. Yep. Okay. So I had a suspicion that this may happen. So what's going to happen here, um, I'm going to have an injury. Now that's not necessarily bad, um, but it does mean that I'm going to need to generate my fervor and I'm going to need to generate my uh, restlessness again. So, uh, and this kind of justifies that choice of another, um, of another health. So knock, um, again, I wasn't sure if it was a question of a lock scar or if this just started the, the ritual. It looks like it's generating a lock scar. Again, I could could be wrong on that, but wait, it says seven lock scars. One, two. Hmm. But either way, um, the final uh, the congregation is satisfied by my notifications, but the divine spark is absent. So. Uh, I begin my vigil, my mouth is open, my eyes are open through them as uh, the congregation raises the hymn, St. Agnes enters like a questing hand. So um, adding anything here doesn't really help. Um, what we what we need is uh, the one that's associated with knock and uh, what you can do. So title consent of wounds is a bit of a hint. Knock, uh, the knock permits no seal and no isolation. It thrusts us gleefully out of the safety of ignorance. The knock is the principle that opens doors and unseems barriers. So if you think of injuries as openings, and certainly there is a lot of references to wounds and openings and so on and so forth, uh, that's kind of the hint for uh, injury being the for being the one that uh, that you want. Also, uh, if you notice, injury has knock aspect. I need rest and nourishment if I am to recover, but the Mother of Ants looks kindly on wounds. Dreaming with an injury before this card fades will allow you to recover health, but we don't want to recover health. Anyways, um, moving right along. <clears throat> um, I can't remember if I read this the whole way or not. So, the dream of the conspiracy of the lower skies. The dis uh, disgraced oracle Damon as uh, as sifts through the tall tales of Penelope of Gordian, the work of the court poet Cal, and the forbidden fragments of the uh, work of adept Aratrez, identifying common themes. Damon insists that the hours, far more than mortals, are subject to their passions, to hatred, and even to love. The seasons of famine and plenty, the turn of the earth, the transformations of the furnace, all these are only the results of the enactment of the lesser passions of the hours. Better not, I must be careful of the company I keep. I don't know why I'm trying to preserve this percussigant, I just know I want to. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged their, a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. So I'm going to give it a little while with the subtle fracture, but we will definitely get rid of the evidence using the Caligine again. 
So you should say, um, why am I kind of sanguine about this? I believe you get an injury if you fail to uh, if you fail to enact the um, the the service, I guess. Um, so in this case, I'm kind of getting the I'm getting the item that I need. Suppose one thing I could try and do is go through the white door, which would give me a restlessness. But the white door is kind of expensive because I you know I need my health for things. So I think we'll we'll stay put. Restlessness isn't the hardest thing to get. We may even get it by trying to get the evidence. Or destroy the evidence, rather. I wait word. St. Agnes unlocks my tongue, and I taste blood. St. Agnes encircles the vessels of my heart, and I feel a moment's pain. St. Agnes departs via the first wound of all, the one in the pit of my belly, where the serpent of my birth was severed. But first she affirms and uplifts me. <clears throat> this is my path, until I am the path. I will open unto my people as a door, that they might pass me. Lock scars cannot be created with knock or secret histories, only the other seven aspects. So I've got the injury. I've got a second subtle uh, fracture, so that's going to be interesting for the study verb. Oh, and we got some money. Okay. So I have some ideas about what I want to do. <clears throat> um, first thing I'm going to do is appointment to the quiet parish. We're going to do a passionate sermon on the uh, on moth. I will speak to their souls, and if they if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. Using suitable doctrine with passionate preaching, it's more likely to create fervor. Uh, improvised preaching is a little quicker. So we're going to wait for the 11 seconds. My minion is not returned. They have failed, and their blundering may have attracted attention. All right. So at some point, I'm going to need to deal with the Caligean, but I don't think this is the right time for that, that sort of thing. So... Um, I wish I could turn in some, yeah, there's a lot of things I wish I could do right now, but, well, that's unlucky. Season of Ambition's coming up, so the restlessness is in hand. Um, injury's going to last 142 seconds, so we're definitely going to be testing the edge of what we can accomplish, but we should be fine. Um, so as far as talking is concerned, what do I want to do? Damon suggested that the hours have constrained their rivalry to avoid a war within the House of the Sun. He identifies the fear of the crime of the sky as the reason that hours do not satisfy other passions. He speculates on the horrifying possibility of hours turned uh, elukite. What then would they devour? We have an anthic elaboration, our first step to an even higher level of lore. The flower maker cannot touch you, he cannot find you, he always has what you desire. Even an elaboration of the properties of his works can draw the attention of ours. Okay, so uh, I do want to get rid of the sickness right away, but in this case here, I have an opportunity to use something that would otherwise be lost, so one minute is not the worst time to wait for this. And we're going to try and upgrade this influence. So it might be possible with the right combination of influences to raise more power, but only if I have the necessary knowledge of the invisible arts. Accelerate fractures. Apply pressure to the skin of the world, and uh, it will part like the skin of a ripe fruit. Moment of consequence. Now potencies and potentialities align. Place pressure upon a weakness and rend the skin from the world. So we've got a subtle rupture again. That's a level 10 knock lore. It would be nice if I can if I can make this last. Um, now, uh, with the fascination that I earned, it might have been a smarter thing to read one of the books that generates dread. I am going to do that now. Um, but uh, how the end will... Uh, Let's do this uh, as the sun is coarse, because we don't actually know that that... I'm pretty sure how the end will begin will generate um, dread. This one we don't necessarily know. Joel of the Bridge, a retired soldier and sometime tollkeeper, wrote this epic poem about Alexander's famously inexplicable decision at Issus to withdraw from the war with the Ach Achaemenids uh, and his subsequent return to Macedonia. 
Alexander meets Odysseus with Darius, King of Kings, for three days and three nights. On the first day, the two men trade threats, on the second uh, promises, and on the third secrets. Darius tells Alexander something so shattering that he retires to his tent to consider matters of strength and matters of mastery. I think the Alexander movie pronounced it Darius, but I've only ever heard it Darius. So I think by now, though, I, th I think it's kind of clear that my pronunciation is uh, not not my strongest. Whenever the principle of the heart is implicated, I may gain vitality. So do I want to do anything with the Percussigant right now? I do eventually want to resummon it, but again, it's just a matter of you know, time and what I can, what I can get done. I am thinking though, is there an advantage to me maybe? Oh, you know what? I had a clever idea about summoning. Um, probably won't be able to do it here, but actually occurred to me there might be an even, excuse me, even, even easier way to preserve summons. Um, so what I'm trying to think of right now is do I want to put the percussant in the explore verb or do I want to put them in the talk verb? Because it feels like there's other things I could be doing with the talk verb. Um, for now, let's keep chatting. Glory demands truth when we are clad in lies, then it shall burn them from us. The deeper the lore, the greater the chance of exaltation. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to be a little mindful of the timing for everything, but we've, we're getting the necessary ingredients for our ritual. Although I am a little worried about the lifespan for this injury. has damaged my health I'll need to rest before I'm fully recovered all right so I right I need to clear this affliction Ooh, actually the, yeah the affliction might have um, might have sunk me to come to think of it I have ideas. So we take the affliction and the vitality. So we can't start the ritual until uh, until we've healed. So that's 60 seconds that will run by. Um, with mortal frustrations. Um, I feel like there should be something I can do with work and the subtle rupture. I should have used the other vitality. Um, yeah, so the only thing that's worrying me right now is sort of the, the time that's running down on all of these things that I want. Okay. At dawn on the fourth day, Alexander announces, the sun has his course upon which he returns, and so do I. He returns to Macedonia, executing two of his captains when they dispute his decision. He brings with him the names of, the, of a blind god and a rite of sacred betrayal, for, Joel opines, without betrayal there would uh, be an end to war. So, right of rebels driving is something we had before, but I'm happy, happy to have it again. Uh, restlessness is coming up, so we've got, basically we've got a window of about a minute to get everything done. Um, under normal circumstances, I'd maybe try to resummon the Percussigant, but that's probably not something that I can feel comfortable doing right now. Let's study how the end will begin. Uh, prophecy of the Wars of the Roads recorded in the subcontinent in the days before the Great Hooded Princes. In the foretold war, the children of the Leashed Flame march on the cities of the continent, but the enactors of Solar Law and the Triple Sisterhood join forces to hold them back at tremendous cost. I just need to make all this stuff last long enough. 
The Watchman, who is the door in the eye, waits in my dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and I dream of this temptation, I can advance my purpose. The need gnaws at me. Okay, as before, we talk with the Percussigan. Keep the subtle rupture for as long as I can. It feels bad to have the work slot be open like this, but I need to get the I need to get the service underway as soon as I possibly can. I'm also going to need to preserve so the restlessness is the thing I can sort of let expire for a bit. The injury and the I don't actually know if it's possible for me to retain both. Um, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, not a great timing for the Season of Despair, if I'm completely honest. Um, and I don't really have a direct way of generating contentment either. But let's work with what we've got. So, appointment to the Quiet Parish. Heart. Formula Ophidian. Fervor. Away we go. Yearnings picked up. I need to make this injury last for... Um, 60 seconds, basically. Next up, uh, I've got a free explorer verb and I've got a free... Aha! So, yes, this is impossibly corny, but this is just going to take a whole bunch of stress off because I also only have a few more minutes left in the episode. Let's see if we can make some real progress. In that battle between the imperishable legions and the leashed flame, the legions will perish and the flame will be unleashed. Mysteries of Force, the Colonel and the Lionsmith, the gods who are flesh, but the wolf divided is a god who, uh, uh, sorry, is a god who was blood. Cunning, strength, and agony are the three roots of victory, and here is their secret doctrine. So, top level edge. Of course, this is the uh, lore that we started off with. Do I want to do anything with the Explorer verb right now? Uh, not really, we don't really have the money to do, do a trip. I could try and be cautious and pick up contentment at the Ecdysis Club. Yeah. The entrance is lost beneath soft drapes of crimson cinnabar and in intercardinine. Uh, and above the door, the club motto, Ingi rum imis noctet consumi marigni. It has been rendered as, into the night circle we fly until the fire enjoys us. Tonight the performers pass among the audience, uh, juggling knives or bottles of red glass, bending to bestow whispers or other gifts. So it looks like I get vitality, but not, not contentment, which is what I was looking for. Of course, at this point, this is where I would normally be trying to upgrade these unresolved um, ambiguities, but I don't have erudition uh, and glimmering, and I... Oh, sorry, I did get contentment. Good. Dancer pressed a red glass cup to my mouth. Its lip was sharp. My mouth is bleeding, but the wine within was a strong wine. I think my words cease like sand in a glass. But yeah, so the um, basically the, the plan here, eventually we'll be able to use the study verb for things like... Um, leveling up lore again, assuming that we don't complete what we're really setting out to do. But um, for the time being, I'm trying to... Um, for the time being, I'm, I'm trying to focus on uh, on this ritual and just kind of keeping enough money and otherwise stopping bad things from happening to me. <laughs> well, certain bad things from happening to me. Uh, season of Suspicion coming up, so we know we're going to get hit by the notoriety, basically. Um, and that's going to turn it into damning evidence, so at some point I'm going to need to work on the Caligene, but the Caligene is not is something I need the work verb for. So, we'll see where we're sitting after the vision of St. Agnes. I begin the vigil, my mouth is open, my eyes are open. Through them, as the congregation raises the hymn, St. Agnes enters like a questing hand. Injury. I'm a little nervous that we've got the wrong item here. Now one thing I could try and do is delay the weary detective. Um, and 
And actually, one thing, um, I can also try and sell some Iron Spintrea for money if I get if things get desperate, I suppose. Okay. Our devotion has drawn comment. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to deal with damning evidence at this point. But I may be able to use... Uh, well, I guess it depends how long this ritual is. I think this is just going to wind up turning into dread and I'll have to deal with it later. And I know we are... Yeah, you know what? Now we're at the end of our time together, so... As silly and arbitrary as it feels to make this a cliffhanger, I actually think seeing whether or not the injury turns out is a is a great way to start. Because, like, what, what am I going to do? Am I going to see that the injury works and then, like double up the length of the episode. So for those of you who are anticipating something explosive at the end, uh, I'm sorry, but we'll have to wait till the next episode. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry to sort of sudden, so abruptly finish things off, but it's actually good timing. So um, if you've enjoyed it, uh, please do feel free to leave a like uh, or subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Uh, and if you want to let me know how angry you are about <laughs> um, the uh, cutoff at half an hour, uh, you can leave a comment or you could just dislike, but please don't. <laughs> um, I will be back. I believe there should be room for another episode tomorrow. Uh, I think this is the third, so there's normally four a week. Um, I'll do my best to try and wrap this up. I mean, again, I'm, I'm not in a rush to finish this, <clears throat> but um, we've got the lock scars. And, and like I said, I, I, I remember broadly how to do this, but the details are not necessarily clear to me. So for instance, when it comes to things like whether or not there is a... Um, a knock lock scar or whether I, you know, I need to do something else. Um, you know, these are, these are sort of surprises to me in, in certain circumstances. So I have a game plan for what happens if this fails. Um, but if it does fail, I need to think a little bit about how I'm going to, like how I'm going to do everything else. What I think though, is based on the description it gave me, this is the start of either a ritual or, or some activity that I can do. And then we're going to be adding um, Grail Winter for, like we're, we're going to open uh, the lock scars. And the one thing I'm not 100% sure on, and this is why I've been trying to preserve this knock influence, is um, kind of in the other endings, you can sometimes use an influence to sort of boost the overall level. Um, so there's a small chance here that maybe I want to try and, and add a little bit more knock. It just sort of seems like if you're going to be doing a ritual for something, it doesn't hurt to have the aspect kicking around. So that's essentially why I've been running around with the subtle rupture. And if things don't turn out, well, you know what? That's not terrible. Um, what we'll just wind up doing is we'll, um, you know, we can use the knock influence to summon something else, assuming that we don't, uh, we don't complete our task. But all of that will be left for the next episode. Take care and see you in the next one.